Okay, here I thought I'd show you the inside of the GEC radio from England. It's kind of very interesting. This was made in 1961, and things tend to look just a little bit different. That's the speaker. It actually has an adjustment screw for them. I think it adjusts the magnet up and down so you can align it with the voice coil in a more efficient way or something. The magnet's also screwed onto the basket. That side looks pretty normal. Now since it's from the UK, it's not AM. I think it's called uh, LW and MW. They're two different AM bands that seem to <clears throat> be uh, their standards. The tuning IF cans are very big and just everything is different because it's foreign made. It takes one of those larger style batteries but I've taped on a normal 9 volt which seems to have enough push to uh, operate the radio for a while. And this is the off, and this is what would be MW, which is AM for us. And AM does work. There's nothing on the LW band at all. The unique style of this radio is that it doesn't have a front or a back. It has a ambidextrous cover with a tuning window on each side. And by the way, it's almost impossible to find one of these that isn't busted. They're very brittle now that they're almost 50 years old. And this one was cracked pretty bad and I was able to put it back together. I've never seen one that isn't broke. It has the same exact tuning thing on both sides of the chassis. And... A very simple dial string setup. When you turn them the one way, they go in opposite directions. 
So when it's in the case, you actually don't know which side of the radio is the front and which side of the radio is the back because both sides are identical. And that's what I thought was always so cool about this radio. And I'll do a follow-up video when it's all put back together.